Cho Gal hype. Take this door, please. Want to fight Yeah. <laughs> Slightly better map from last game, but now we have a Cho'Gal. <laughs> oh god. Oh, screwed it. Come on. Still, you got Nazebo with the spawns to block. If he wants to. Most of the time they don't, but that's because I'm potato. My MMR is potato. But they can if they want to. We got the Artanis vs Artanis, which lasts forever, basically. For battle, I will still try to go to. Let our enemies beware. All right. That thing. Wait until you see what I can do. Mm. <laughs> we gotta say this. Always gotta say that. The battle My spells are here. ready. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The slaughter begins. <laughs> All right, I guess. Sometimes I, I really miss Caldia. I prefer to be mid. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Play her safe and it okay. Why That's not? the key for Calamity build. <laughs> Alright. Again. So like when you throw your W you remember you wanna come off from an angle so you get area. That bank attempt was ten out of ten. My spells are Just because if you go straight on it won't actually it'll only hit the front. Maybe the the Freaking mage minion, that was called. <laughs> See, it'd be nice if I was able to follow up, but I'm not. <laughs> they got attention. Seems like my travels never end. Landed Kevin, I believe. Oh no. We're still even in XP. Well, I mean, I would say that. Uh, no. Well, as you would. Car thing. Activate the shrine. Actually, I'm gonna play this. Oh, okay. uh, Do I want Triumvirate? Globes. Proc me that car hungry. That. No. Judge damage. 
think Pop will still be there soon. Got that guy a bit. Nothing's happening. Unless we decide to fight. Oh, I just remembered. I was supposed to talk about talent. But it's already level seven. Okay, I'm just trying to talk about it now. So level one, astral presence. Pretty good for like if you want, if you just want to keep throwing out stuff, like with orb build, like you'll be able to, like. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, but with orb build, like you'll be able to throw out a lot more because that that's actually a lot. As long, like it, the only time it, it like doesn't mean much is when you get resets because it doesn't give you enough. Fast enough. It doesn't regen fast enough. For what I'm trying to say, power hungry. You get the ten percent ability power is pretty nice. Plus the regen globes more mana. But I mean, like if the if you have that, uh, if you have trouble getting the regen globes, then this, this might not be a thing. Force armor, spell block, pretty straightforward. Aether walker. It's not as bad as anyone says it is, but. I don't know if it's on some build. Not everything. Like, you would not... Like, I would only take it on the orb builds just because it lets you EQ. She is zoning me off. See, like, all those resets would have been nice. But. Actually, not. I don't think so. The timers aren't that. Long, you can still get this, but they do get 10 first, obviously. Like, right here, there's nothing in there. There's nothing there. Okay, they got it. There you go, thank you. Okay, so that's level 1. Uh, pretty tough tech. So level 4 you have the uh, charge glass, magic missile. It's pretty good if you're like, if you want open first, then yeah, go for it. I, I don't take it that much though, just because that means you have to be in AA range. And I don't like being in AA range. Um, Primbrit is good. Just because the CD production. Person takes the um, what's called cooldown reduction 65%. Like, if you're playing far away, you shouldn't have trouble getting that. I mean, like, there are problems, like, if it gets blocked, like, with this Azebo, if he actually tries to block it, then that, that's a sad day for you, but then that doesn't mean you won't have it up. Dominance is a pretty solid choice. Store. One kill. Not been this game. Yeah. I mean, like a solid choice. 
Like, I would say default for it. The only reason I don't default for it is because, like, usually your health problems can, um, like, you won't have health problems unless, like, you're, like, going full YOLO and if you're in bad positioning. But once the time you, like, with this build, if I have good positioning, I shouldn't be taking that much damage. If this but you can still go for dominance. Like, it does help of, like, or like those, um, when you have a number of disadvantage and you might not have the best of which happens more often than not. Why is this fish Oh, God, that was a misclick. Yeah, so level 7, Jay's Vengeance. Jay's Vengeance for the 25% on this. This is pretty nice, like, Frambrick proc and uh, Zay's Vengeance, like, if you're playing it at the range you should be, you won't have trouble doing that in the damage position, guys. Calamity, for, um, for this Calamity will damage and teleport, you don't want to be using Calamity for, like, um, just, like, going for your though. Like, you only want it to help secure resets, like, if they're full, you definitely do not want to count on anything. Like, some people do do that. But you should not. Just because you'll die. Not to mention, like, even if you do manage to, like, not die, you can. Well, never mind, I'm just gonna. Shut up. I was gonna say you can get CC spells, but obviously, I just said you cannot manage to die, so. And Seeker 4. Like, Seeker's pretty good if you can consistently land your magic missiles, like 3 of them. And yeah, I would... Ultimate burst, the 3000 DPS. Not DPS, like the 3000 burst build. 3000 plus. Like, you don't even have to take Power Hungry. Or Glass Cannon, you just need to do all the top talents, basically. Yeah, all the top talents for the burst build. Except, Wave of Force, because this integrate is not bursty. Seems like my travels never end. Yeah, it is all top lines. Sparkwise. Uh I don't know about the world. I would take Taraka. Well, obviously. Tarasha or repulsion. I mean you still do to three thousand plus without Tarasha proc, so you might as well take repulsion with it. That's level 10 times, level 10, disintegrate. Wave like force. What a great. I like wave force better, obviously, but disintegrate is more consistent. Like, if you're having a bad day, you might not get the wave of force you need, and I should be with the team really, but uh, <laughs> I'm not really paying attention to the game. That's a free kill. Oh no no, 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 but yeah, like, I mean, if you're only using it for the, what's it called, if you're only using it for the mosh, then I guess it is consistent, but, you're not sure <laughs> My power grows. But yeah, this integrator is the more consistent choice. I was bad. Don't do that. Go from the side. Right. Also, remember if someone's low, you don't need all five to hit. It's better to go like this, maybe. Or go like that. And remember the range at which all five actually hit. The target is not the same. Now, 13, Cannoneer, yep. it's good for the burst build, but 
Slash Cannon. Probably my default just because. I don't know, the 15% minus health is really, really much. That's the thing, you know. Like, it's a good trade off for the damage. I mean, obviously, if you have a burst account, you might think twice. Keep me alive, Kevin! Nope. Alright, at least that gives us more time for this. Glass cannon, gain ability power, but lose max health. This would be instant damage, which is nice if we would. Helps give you that burst you need. I think it's even nice. Even is uh, pretty good with going Calamity Will, Glass Cannon, which is also viable with Calamity Will. Just remember, don't rely on the clock for to survive. Like you want to remember what you said. Uh, level 16, Fireflies, pretty good. Like this, I usually go this when I go play in your world. You can also take Diamond Skin or Mirrorball, but it's pretty fast. Mirrorball for the for this build, same room. Like this gives you more burst too if you land all five. Arcane Orbit for Orb build. I think I just need to reset there, so I don't think I can jump. Oh, the back to range. Oh, I'm doing that reset there. Oh, dang it. Did I even land that? Triple kill. Enough of you. Yeah, but Arcane Orbit is a, if you go Orb, you do have more Siege power. Just because of all the damage on your W. 25% more damage nice too, but like, I don't know. The problem with it is, um, you won't, like, in team, for like, against heroes, if you're specifically targeting heroes, you will, you'll have a, if they're any good, you should be having a hard time. Just because max range is like, pretty far. Get the max on that. But yeah, this like, like either Walker would be viable here. Like I don't know if you should pick it over Astral Probably, but if you take either Walker with Orb build, that does let you W then E and then Q forward, and then like it with the reduced cooldown on your teleport, it'll be up for the next cycle. But yeah, like that would be the only time I would pick Peter Walker. It's not like as bad as everyone says it is. Like people say like, okay, you take one damage. Yeah, sure, but if you have good position, you shouldn't be taking damage. But yeah, it's only some games because like... Or you'll be really far away, so it'll be much easier not getting hit. I mean, I've tried it with this book. I'm going down to leave, but... I'll say a little bit more. This one too, but whatever. Anyways, 
Fireflies, Mirror Ball, Arcane Orbit, Diamond Skin, Defensive Talent, if you need it. I do not take it a lot. But yeah, if you need the extra survivability, you're welcome to take that. It's not what I intended. If this were easy, why not? Lol. I was expecting something. The frozen punisher serves the high heavens. Strike it down quickly. It goes to the left of the tower. Off left. Whatever. Like, it's not bad, but with my playstyle, I don't really. I don't see myself benefiting off of it since I only use the integrate for um, getting that reset instead of just like capping it. Maybe that's not the first place out but yeah I don't benefit from letting the integrate zone. I would rather take Kara Sawit when I go to integrate just because you know, like Oh my god, see this, that, you don't do that, that's bad. That's like, potato mode. And I didn't get the reset. That was bad anyway. But yeah, you, to benefit of this, you actually have to let it run. And it, they change it so you actually... Like you won't even get the 60% bonus right away. I don't even know where. When does it start? It doesn't say. But yeah, it's not bad. Like you can take it. I, I just don't take it because my playstyle does not complement loaded. Like I'll only pass disintegrate for the reset. Otherwise, I'll just cycle between W and Q. But yeah, so I take Tower Sham like. I've taken Tarasha every time I've run Syndicate. Every single time. Damage boost tonight. And at least if you let run, you get 50% on it. But yeah, okay, so, and moving on to Rook I'd say this is go to for a wall. Just because. Looks like I this. Won't be dying today. This. That shit anymore. Like to actually work off of it. I should not be, but I'm low and I don't want to risk dying. I'm going to use up Artanis. Yeah, we should have this one. If what does it say? Yeah, yeah this do it. does not help us. I mean, it does the damage boost, obviously, but... You have to open with E if you want the 5%. Which I would say is not that much if you've already gone this and this. Like, previously, like, the flat 10%, all you had to do was cycle, and you were better. So that was alright. But now, like, you, ha you have to work a lot harder to actually benefit from this. Like, 5% is not that much. And you might not even get it unless you open with your E, which I do not like, because then you don't have E up. I could have said that. That would have been nice. Can I get more out? No, that was bad. But yeah, the, the damage boost you get does not, it doesn't, it's not worth losing the utility on your ult. There's a song, yeah. 
At least I got a decent wave for the end though. The ones at the beginning of the game were pretty bad, not gonna lie. Nice. You gotta remember to in intensely beast up is the proper way of playing Lee Ming. You don't actually none of these none of this actually matters. You just wanna intensely beast up and no I'm not gonna go Archon. I forgot it. I forgot to talk about that. But basically Archon, it's for CG really. Like you do not take it for damage. Because you actually lose that damage by going in Archon mode just because you can't cast your other abilities. It's a sieging ability. Like, okay, if you like to get away with it, you get all the siege damage you want. But then if that's what you're going for, you might as well go Orb. Yeah, like, that game was alright. That was a pretty bad play, but it was alright. But yeah. So basically, remember, W the minions from the side or from an angle so you can um you know like minions is here one two three one one two three and then you want to orb like right there so you can all right but yeah so if you you'll get this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy and i think the explosion might even get this guy like these two guys here I, I'm sorry if you're having a hard time visualizing this. But yeah, the way after side, remember your. If you take Mirror Ball, the range at which. Even if you take. If you, um. Regular. Like, it, it's not noticeable. The three missiles will still probably hit in max range, but once you do take, get the extra two missiles from Mirror Ball, like. They do converge earlier. Or, like, if you aim too far, they won't hit. If you get what I mean, like, it'll be, like, if this was the point you're aiming at, like, the three might hit right here, but then the other two will be, like, slightly off target. So you want to, like, walk forward a bit. Like, I do have a visual for that on my guide. Let's see if I can bring that up. Hmm. How to wave a force. Let's... Window capture? Is that, is that working? I don't know. That, no, it's not, it's not working. Uh, sorry about this. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. Well, no, that's so that's something else. I was always saying earlier, like, if you only need to hit one missile, it's better if you go like this. Or like this. Like, they will, if the further you aim, the more peril they will be to each other. And the closer you aim, the earlier they'll converge and diverge. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this is, from here to here, that's your, like, wave of force with repulsion mode so like if they do get away you can just pew, do that happy happy leaming but yeah you do need to up a bit forward if you want to land all five because like here like this where they all hit like the three might hit here but not all five because like it goes i think there was like here 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 actually I just go and try mode what the fuck might as well Yes, the the best edited guide, the best edited video. Like, just imagine a transition. Phew. Oh, look at that transition. It's on the loading screen, though. Whatever. Well, we'll mess around and try one of it, and I think this video will be. Sometimes out. I really miss Caldeum. Uh, uh, you want me to show off? <laughs> A little bit further. That's much. Actually, I'll make this easier on you. Choose a talent. I want to take this just so you like. You don't have to calculate. Calculate. All right. So it's <laughs> like it'll say 730. But it's like 731. Yeah. So like right here, just how Why far not? you need to be. Like if you move like right there, out there. That's, that's like 650, yeah, so you need to be like right there, this far, like, it'll take a little bit of get hang, yeah, it'll take a little bit of getting used to, but, there you go, 
and then as you can see you don't actually see you, all three hits but not the other two so you have to move forward like just a little bit actually I'm not even that far you can My spells are click ready. It right here that hits of course like the target is moving so you might have to like like move a different way like here here or like if they just move away then you're probably not gonna catch up and you're gonna have to teleport forward and then here. and then with repulsion like you like can just never end. push them back if they're like running away up there will not a lot of HP left for repulsion that doesn't kill them you can probably just auto attack them or like point blank here not, that's not a Q that's a W that, that, that was terrible that missed here we yeah. And um, might as well t talk Choose about the Peter Walker thing. That's what I'm talking about. So, max range W. It's like, right there, right? Yeah. Move back. Cast, cast, move back. Yeah, so as, as you can see, you. Oh, yeah, see that? that's not a map. Move like right here. Maybe a little further back. No, that's not a right here. Alright then. Right there. A little bit forward. Is that max range? Max range, Sometimes right? Yeah. So you need me. Who is this for? 13, 14? Nope. Nope. It's right there. Okay. A little bit forward. Yeah, right here. So, W. Here. There you go. Move back. Everyone would do it. W. That is not max range. W. Move back. W. And that's it. Here. This will be off cooldown. That yeah, that's like either Walker's viable for orb just because it lets you do that. But. These two are still better, but if you do not want to go for these two, then you can take either walker. Choose no okay pick. What else do I want to talk about? I don't want to talk about the burst because I haven't played too much on with it, but you do get 3000 plus. Let's see if I can show you that. Repulsion. Two AAs, just two AAs. Well, it shouldn't be hard. Just let's do that. Well, I'm not even sure if that's the. Yeah, two auto attacks. What else? Choose a talent. Power hungry triumvirate. Say, well, you can go dominance for this. I've just been taking um, triumvirate a lot recently because I haven't, I haven't found this benefits me as much as I think it does. It still benefits you, but. I would say I overrated it. Like it's not overrated, but I overrated it too much. <laughs> it's good, but my knowledge increases. Not as good as I thought. It once. seems like my travels never end. Okay. Nope. Is that? Yeah, that is. Seven hundred thirty-two, twenty-five percent, nine hundred something. 1052 from the class cannon. You don't have to teleport. Well, I teleport forward, but you can just move forward. But yeah, you can't close the distance and you can't teleport forward. And then just remember here, you do have repulsion, which does give you a lot more range. Like if you don't take repulsion, choose a talent. Like, I become more. I powerful. still. I used to take Talrasha with this build, and. But. If you let's say like Why back in not? the old days, back in the good old days, W, Q, like your R, you actually won't. You probably, you'd have to come forward. You you're actually out of range. If you don't have a teleport, and even if you do, if they have like a what's it called 
like some sort of dash or blink, you're not gonna get them. Well, a short range dash or blink. If it's like a zero tool, like yeah, he's just gonna get away. Sometimes Nothing you can do about I it. Really miss Caldeum. Like with a zero tool, you might as well teleport. Like not teleport. Um, wave force him into your team if you can. And then if he does blink out, then you have a chance of doing this. If you do this and he gets bursted low, yeah, he's just gonna easy. run away. Everyone would do it. Calamity. Let's talk about Calamity. Choose a talent. You can go for Glass Cannon too. I just take Illusionist more, but that's pretty good. Just because this lets me. My spells are I can ready. cast it further. I don't have to be as close, but yeah. Glass Cannon is still good. Definitely gives you more burst. Used to take Fireflies and Mirror Boss, good too, but then Fireflies is much easier to secure your resets. Here. Here we go. You don't have to be. That was what? Two auto attacks? Alright then. Let's see. One. Two. Is that three? That was three auto attacks, I think. Yeah, three auto attacks for the 3,000 plus. That was not a max range. I mean, what am I talking about? The you didn't even hit. So, test out that damage. All right. Auto attack. Auto attack goes two. All right, two auto attacks for the three thousand plus. Two. What is happening? If this were you, everyone would do it. All right, that was pretty bad. <laughs> so is you. <sighs> I, I don't try to go for the burst though, like, the only reason I don't know that dam the damage, the exact damage is because I don't go for the burst with this build, like, it's not going to to, well, yeah, you can go for a burst if you do that, and you can do that, but, most time you don't have to do it close. this and the video I would say oh, okay. yeah. oh wait no I know how to end this video say it say it there we go GG boys